Schroeder, and I'm an artist that does mostly public art in Boulder. This is one of the installations we did. It was completed just this uh, summer, and it was uh, privately fundraised for and then uh, given to the city. And the city had put some money in through the Boulder Arts Commission. And uh, this is a good example of educational public art, which gives people, um, educates people about the flood levels of Boulder Creek, it gives them a visual representation for the uh, threat of flood along Boulder Creek. Okay. Uh, art, art means to me, and particular public art, is a piece, a uh, sculpture, or something interesting that someone does within the city that adds to the cultural um, and visual aspect of the city and enhances people's lives, or in this case, it's an educational piece of art that teaches people about the flood levels of Boulder Creek. And there are a lot of different aspects of public art, and I think uh, public art is just a great addition to any city and helps define uh, a, city, a city and actually invites people to come in and uh, to look at it and, and have a great experience. I think uh, public art for any city is an important addition. Boulder doesn't technically have a uh, percentage of the money that goes to the art, but has always been very supportive of uh, when they build something in the transportation department or in other departments for setting aside some of that response to uh, have for public art. And you see some of that when you come into the city and there's those big walls and different aspects along 28th Street. And it just helps define uh, the character of the city and overall there have been uh, studies that have shown that that actually attracts people and, and it's actually a positive thing despite the money the city or whatever entity is spending for that, it actually adds value to tourism and um, the overall intake of money for the city.